and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Chatsy System GP40-2. And I have done one of these in the past, but this is an updated build with all our new undercarriage details and new door placement here. And I found a fix for the windows. Putting the doors here before made us have to bump the windows forward, which was inaccurate. So on this new one here, we're simply using a trapdoor and banner and just not putting glass there so that the windows can be flush with the front and doesn't stick out like it did on the other ones. So let's get right into it. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler. So take a dark oak stair and attach it up. Under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block back, three polished blackstone on the bottom middle and an upside down polished blackstone stair on either side. Then five polished blackstone blocks across here. Then we're going to open a dark oak fence gate on the bottom here and here. Then put two lightning rods here and two here. Then come in front of this and we're going to do a three block tall T-shape of polished blackstone in the center. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of yellow concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three acacia slabs coming up this side, three coming up this side, then three polished blackstone slabs on this top middle here. Then we're going to need to get a creeper head and mangrove fence gates. We're going to put two fence gates here and then the player head. Now come in front of this, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate on each rail like this. Then in front of that, we're going to do a netherite wheel on each rail with a cauldron in between them. Then we're going to put a lectern right here in the middle. Then in the middle, we're going to do a string and a deep slate tile stair. Turn around and a stair facing the opposite way. Then we'll do a string and a lectern again. Then behind that, a cauldron and another right wheel to either side of it. So on this end, then we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on each side. So the truck looks like this so far. Then in between the wheels on the bottom here, we're going to put four dark oak trap doors here and four right here. Then we'll swing around in front of this with polished blackstone right in front of these fence gates. And we're gonna go three wide in the middle and 11 blocks long. So a three by 11. Then in front of this, we'll put a dark oak fence gate on each side. Then a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. In the middle, we'll do a string and a lectern. Then a deep slate tile stair here. Turn around a string and a deep slate tile stair facing the other way. Then a lectern. And behind that, another right wheel on each trail with a cauldron in between them. Then four dark oak trap doors here. Four here. And finally, we'll put a dark oak bed skate on either of these wheels down here. Then we'll do the front end, so in front of these fence gates, a five by three of yellow concrete coming out to each side. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape of polished blackstone in the middle, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. Then three polished blackstone stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above it, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three polished blackstone slabs on this top middle, Three acacia slabs coming up this side. Three acacia slabs coming up this side. Take out a dark oak stair for this front coupler. Turn around, stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, we're gonna do a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we'll open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom. Then two lightning rods here and two right here. Then we'll come behind this 
on this second layer on the middle. Run a line of polished blackstone up the middle down the length of this truck till you get right here. Then a full row of dark oak bend skates on this side. And a full row of dark oak bend skates on this side. We repeat it at the back. So polished blackstone up the middle right here. Then a full row of dark oak bend skates here. And a full row of dark oak bend skates on this side. Then two rows of three polished blackstone here, two at this end of the fuel tank, and on this middle section, we'll go three wide with polished blackstone slabs on the upper hitbox. So it looks like that. Then on the bottom of the fuel tank, a full row of upside down outward facing polished blackstone stairs, and a full row of upside down stairs on this side. Just like that. Now come through on the sides of the truck. Everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper on the side of each wheel. Same thing over here. Then get the front truck hoppers on these wheels and over here. Then we'll come back through, crouch, and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each of the two hoppers. Same thing back here. Then we'll do the other side. And one more corner to go. Same thing right here. Now we'll continue on detailing these trucks here. So we're gonna come on top of this, crouch and take a deep slate tile slab, put one slab on top of all four hoppers. Then we'll go one hitbox down on each one and put one here, one here, and then one here and one here. So from the side now, the truck's looking like this. We'll repeat the process up here. So a slab above each of the four hoppers. Then we move one hitbox down, one here, one here, then one here, and one here. Then we're gonna come in, and we need dark oak trap doors and fence gates. We're gonna put two fence gates in this middle here, then crouch and two trap doors above them. Do the same thing here, two fence gates and two trap doors above them. So now the truck design looks like that and we repeat it back here. So two fence gates, two trap doors above them, then same thing here, and two trap doors above them. Then we're gonna take out grindstones here. Above each wheel, put a grindstone. Same thing here. Then we'll do this side, and back here. Then we'll come up here and crouch, take out lightning rods, one here and one here, then one here and one here. Repeat the process for this truck. One here, one here, turn around, one here, and one right here. Now we're gonna come on the front of the fuel tank, on the second block back from the front, and take out a mangrove button. One here, one on this side. Then we're gonna put a sideways dark oak bend skate on each side, then behind that, one going this way. Then we'll crouch and put a mangrove sign on the side of this fence gate. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So a sign on this one here. Then behind the fence gate, we'll do our air tanks. So we'll put a row of sideways anvils to the back up here. And same thing on this side here. Then they actually stick out behind the fuel tank. So at the back, we're gonna put a string, a string, and then another anvil. So the air tank sticks out. Same thing here, do a string, a string, and another anvil right here. Now come up top, and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three on the third layer, end to end, with polished blackstone block. 
bring it right down to this other end here. Just like that. Then on this top outside edge, a row of orange concrete till it's above this inner wheel. And then same thing right here. And we'll do the same thing at the front. So orange concrete until it's above this inner wheel. And then same thing over here. Then we're gonna grab acacia slabs and stairs. We're gonna put an upside down stair here and here. Turn around facing this way here and here. Then we'll fill this gap between them with acacia slabs. Because this walkway actually raises up above where the fuel tank is. Do the same thing on this side. So it looks like that. Now we come on top of the front in the center on the third block back. Put three yellow concrete coming up, then three here, three here. Behind it on this side, two columns of three. Then on this side, we're going to square it in, leaving this middle block open. Go ahead and fill in the top, but actually this back middle one needs to be black concrete. Put a yellow concrete in this hole and a brewing stand. Then, on the side right here, we're going to put two yellow shulker boxes and a yellow concrete up here. On this side, we'll do two yellow shulker boxes, then another six shulker boxes coming back. On this side, we'll do four shulker boxes. Then we'll put four yellow concrete here, and actually another shulker box behind it. Then right here, on this side, We'll put four yellow concrete here and actually make that five, so it's like that. Then up here, yellow concrete, two black, a door here and here. On this side, we're going to put a yellow at the back, two black, then a door here and here. Then we'll put two item frames under the black concrete on each side. Up here, two cyan stained glass, orange concrete. On this side, two cyan stained glass and an orange concrete here. Then we're going to put a temporary block here. And we'll close a trap door going this way for the window divider. And then we'll put an orange banner on it. And that'll keep our windows from sticking out. We just won't have glass in those front windows. Then we need to grab polished black stone stairs. Right here, we're gonna put four outward facing stairs. Same thing on this side. And we'll fill the middle between them with black concrete. Then a black concrete on this front middle and a black stained glass pane on either side of it. So now our windows are the correct spacing and our doors are in the right spot as well. Now that the base of the cab is done, we're gonna come down to the back end on the third block end in the center make a pattern of yellow concrete like this and raise it up three blocks tall. Then we'll come in front of it and we're just gonna fill in both sides like this, three blocks tall with yellow concrete and start bringing it all the way forward on each side. And just keep it coming here. come up till it's right here on each side. Then above that, we'll do a single layer of orange concrete and just bring it down and around the back and back up this side here. Then we'll come on top of the back and we'll put a black concrete on each of the three back blocks back here. Now we'll work on the top. So we're gonna come up top here we're going to come right behind the cab and put three black concrete across, then three polished basalt on either side, and a three by three of polished black stone slabs on top. Behind that we'll do our exhaust, so we need a smoker in the middle, surround it with a C-shape of black concrete. Then we need a dark oak trap door, 
and surround this exhaust up here with dark oak trapdoors. Then we'll come to the back with cobble deep slate, one in the middle, and another seven coming forward. Then here I took out this layer of orange concrete to make this cobble deep slate section two blocks tall, but I ended up changing that later, so we only need the cobble deep slate on the top layer. I had to change it layer because of how the lettering will end up being. Then we'll do three iron bars coming forward. And then there's a divider here. So an orange and black concrete and then iron bars. We copy it on this side. Just like this. Then we'll fill the rest of this top three wide with black concrete. Then we're gonna take polished black snow stairs on the side of the top, one block forward from the iron bars. An upside down backward facing stair on either side. Then three outward facing deep slate tile stairs. Upside down, three on this side. Then an outward facing polished black stone and a forward facing. Same thing right here. Then we'll come in the center of this deep slate tile section, make a plus shape of polished black stone slabs. Then we need oak trap door and cobble deep slate again. Knock out this center, put in cobble deep slate, oak trap door. Then take out our slabs again. We're gonna make a plus shape here. Connect one here and one here so there's three fans and put oak trap doors in the centers of them. Now come on top of the nose with black carpet and fill this whole top of the nose with black carpet. Then we need to do our horn up here and for that we'll need dark oak fence gate. In the center open back to back dark oak fence gates. Then we're going to use black carpet to make a pattern on top like this. In this hole put a lever for an antenna. Then we'll come back here and put a dark oak trap door right here. Then we're gonna go back to black carpet on the top and everywhere we haven't built something, start filling in with black carpet all around and in between all these fans and out to this side. Then we'll get in between all these back fans and down and around the back end here. Then on the walkway on this side, it actually sticks up a little bit. So we're gonna need oak slabs. Come down here with oak slabs right here and bring a line of slabs back till you're above this first back wheel. Then come to the back. We're gonna change this one to black wool and this one to black wool. A T-shape of black carpet and one on each side like this. Fill this gap with black carpet on the walkway Come over here and bring black carpet all the way up this walkway. Then we can crouch and get one on this shulker box here. Then we'll come up here. Two on these shulker boxes up here. Then two right here. Then a T-shape on the front, two here, and one on this shulker box. Then change this one to black wool and this one. Then in these corners, three yellow stained glass panes here, three here. Come down to the back, three yellow stained glass panes on each side, here and here. Then above it in orange, and above that a black stained glass pane on each side. Then we need to do our blower. So we'll come over here on this side, under this polished basalt section. Two rows of three yellow stained glass panes and one row of orange right here for the blower. Then we're gonna do the logo, so we're gonna take out black wool. Right here, we're gonna knock out this C shape and put in black wool. Then skip a block, knock out four, put in black wool, skip another block and knock out another four. And put in black wool to represent the lettering because we can't fit it. So it looks like that. And now we have to do the other side here. 
So come on over to this side. Right here, we'll knock out this C shape, put in black wool. Then skip one, knock out four here, put in black wool. Skip one, knock out four, put in black wool. And this is what I was talking about before. We can't really see the letter, so I'm gonna take out the bottom row of iron bars. So I'm gonna change these three back to orange concrete, and change these three back to orange concrete. Just so we can see that letter better. Then, just to make it match, we'll come on this side, and I'll change these three to orange, and change these three to orange. Now that the lettering's done, we need to do all our railings next. And for that, we're gonna be using acacia fences here. So take out acacia fence, come down here. We'll also need a chain. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Here we come up three, over one, and a two by two right here. Repeat the pattern here, so up four. Here, up three, over one, and a two by two right here. Then a chain across this gap. Then we'll connect our fence up right here and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're gonna come up one, over one, up one, over one. Now we'll do the front. So right here, come up four. I was having some trouble placing it. Here, up three, over one. And a two by two right here. Here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one. And a two by two right here. And then a chain across the gap. Then we'll come behind this, come back one, up one, over one, up one, over one. Come on this side, come back one, up one, over two. Then come to the back on this side, connect up right here, and bring a full row up this walkway. Right here on the end, it comes up one like that and over one. Now come up front, there's these two marker lights, which are hard to do with the stained glass panes there. If we want them, we can use skeleton skulls here and here. Then come on this top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light, and a dark oak sign on the side of it with our number, which is 4289 on each side. Hit them with white dye and a glowing sack. But I don't like how these are sticking out, so I'm just not going to have that detail and take them off. Then we're going to come down to the rear end. Back here, a glow item frame with a frog light here. And then we can go ahead and put a sign on each side up here with 4289. And actually they need to be down one on here. We'll hit these with white dye and a glow ink sack. Now come on the side of the cab and we're actually going to change these item frames to polished black stone buttons. And do the same thing on this side. Then we'll come back down to the rear end here. And we're actually going to change this bottom block to a black wool. Then we're gonna put three oak fence gates coming up, opened for a ladder, and above this sign, a dark oak. Now come into a loom with a yellow banner and orange dye. Make the top half orange. Then a new banner, and we're gonna make the top half cyan. Put an orange border on it, then make the bottom half yellow. Then a new banner again, this time with black dye, put a vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, and put a yellow border on that one. Then we'll come place these. This C is for the logo on the end, so we're going to put one in the middle here, and then we'll come up front, one on the middle here.
Then this one's for the window here. And back here. Then this other one's to cover this door on the side, so crouch and put that one on the side of that door to complete the pane of the cab here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side door on this side. Put that banner right on that door. Now come up behind this dynamic brake blister, put a bell right there. Then we'll move back up front here. And it's time to do our interior here. So we're going to come on in through this door. We'll put some frog lights down here for hidden lighting. Then fill the floor in with smooth stone slabs at the same level of the door here. Then we need a blast furnace. We're going to put two blast furnaces back here. Then a stair on each side for seats. Two slabs here for a control stand and put two levers on it. And now the interior is completed here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our chassis system, GP40-2 locomotive in our all new updated building style. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here and all the new details. Especially how we've done these front windows. I feel like this is a good solution. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.